Hi friends, I am Farham Shishya, Bemel Public School, Class 6, Section C. So today we are going to make QPod, which is a simple basic app used to play music. So we are going to make a simple and basic version of it. First, you need to go to a website, which is code.org. Code and then a website will open. You have to sign in by clicking over here. I have already signed in, so you can see my name here. And now let's go to projects. And then we'll click App Lab. Then a screen will open like this. You have a workspace, a toolbox and a screen. So first let's name it. I'm going to name it as QPod Music. You can name it anything you want. And now we are going to add some buttons. So basically in the music app, not like YouTube, like the music apps, <clears throat> the main three buttons which you see is stop, then you can play the song and then next, play the next song. So as we are making a basic and a simple version of that, we are going to use these three buttons. So first let's add three buttons. Go to design <clears throat> and drag three buttons over here on the screen at any position or place you want. <clears throat> but please do not overlap it on any button as the button will not work if, if it overlaps any other button. Adjust it to wherever you want it to be. Okay, so I've adjusted mine. And now if you want, you can change the size of the buttons too. That depends on you. So now let's get with some simple naming of the buttons and creating the IDs. So click on button 1. You can see that the ID is button 1. But ID actually needs to be stop. I'm going to keep it as stop. And you have to remove the text. And instead of a text, we'll put an icon which we'll do. And you can even change this if you want. And the width and height depends on you. Then you can you have to choose an image because it's better than text. You can choose from your files or give any Google link. But now we're going to use icons. So we need to search for stop. This one looks good for music ones. We're going to click. And you can see it looks quite pretty. If you want, you can also choose the background color. This all depends on you. So I'm going to choose it this way. Okay, so let's do, uh, do it for all the buttons. This one will be create the ID as play. And then you have to put, remove the text. And uh, as usual, if you want to change the color, all depends on you. And the width and height, everything depends. So I'm going to change it. Uh, I have to, I have to put, I'm putting all of them into the same one. Okay. Now let's go to the image, let's go to icons and play. Good. This looks good. Now let me go to the button 3. This one is going to be next. And then the text, we're going to remove it. Change the height and width, depends on you. Change the color, this also depends on you. Okay, now let's go on with the code, with the icon. So I'm going to go to choose icons next. Good. So now we have created our buttons. Let's add an image. <clears throat> image is optional. If you want, you can add. If you don't want, it's okay. Uh, if there's any ID, you can add, but I'm not going to do any of this. I'll just put it as music. This looks good. I change the ID. And now, let's change. If you want, you can change this. And then you have to go to choose an image. My files, link, or icon. So, I'm going to use uh, a file from my laptop. So, I'm going to choose picture whichever picture depends on you so let's go with the picture it's taking some time okay so i've choose the picture then you have to choose click on choose and you can increase the size if you want so even i'm increasing the size it looks good <clears throat> and now let us go with the code 
So let's click code and now we'll start the code. Okay, so let us start with the code. First, you need to drag one event block from UI controls of the toolbox. You have to drag it down right here. So that is like an event. And in that, we need to use, like, I'm using two tunes for now, two songs. First, you need to put the ID as play. Because you're going to play the song. And click, that means when you click the play button, then the song will get played. Then we have to add stop sound as uh, first we'll, we'll just like stop the sound. You can click this as it will stop any sound you click. And then now you can just add the play sound. You have to search for it. It will be over here. Play sound. And you can insert also insert it over here. Done. You can insert it down. It's not coming down. Yeah. Done. Now you have to choose the song. Any downloaded songs you have, so go to making sounds and upload file. And you can just go to wherever you downloads. So I have uh, like these songs, or also also you can just click record audio if you want to record yourself singing, or you can just record and make it. So add two songs here, and after adding, uh, so I'll pause myself and add two songs in the next year. So let's add the next code. For this, you will drag another one event right here, just below this. And then you will choose the ID as next, because you have to play the next song, obviously. And then you will drag the stop sound, because you have to first stop the first song, right? So I've already added this song, as you can see, I've inserted two songs. So you have to add where is stop sound. Yeah, I got it. Stop sound done and now you will add the play uh, play sound again like i have done in the first code let's go to play sound yeah you got to insert it drag it down yeah and then you can choose the second song which you have already added like you can see make new sounds i've already added two songs i'm going to add the second one you can see okay now let's go to the last code so the last function that we have left is stop sound right so let's add the last one which is stop sound so drag and drop the over here okay done and choose the idea stop sound and let's add stop sound i can yeah stop sound good now let us try play it and see how our um keyboard has been okay so let me increase the volume play So you can see the first song is playing. Now let's click stop. So as you can see when I press stop, it has stopped. Now let's click next to see if the next song is playing or not. So you can see that the next song is also playing. So I've stopped there and it has stopped. So you can see our coupon has is really nice and it's quite a basic and simple app for making music. So I hope you understood how to make a cue pod. Thank you so much.